Hey boys and girls, Tony Horton here of P90X Fame Sport, my P90X3 shirt right now. That's right, a half an hour to fitness, it can happen, trust me. The reason why I'm here to talk to you today is because I'm up here at Mike Wigley Heli Skiing. It has been phenomenal up here. The snow has been insane. Bluebird, trees, glacier skiing, it's all here. We've been having a blast. And one of the things that I made sure that I did before I came skiing up here with Mike Wigley was to make sure that I was fit and ready to enjoy this experience. There's a lot of things you need to do to make sure that you maximize your ability to be able to ski day after day after day. A couple things, number one, I've learned that fitness is everything. Of course, eating right also matters, but before I come up here, I work on my balance, I work on agility, and I do some plyometrics. That way my body is prepared to go in any and every direction when I'm ripping down that hill, when I'm heli skiing with Mike Wigley. So, here we go, here's some tips. Here's our first one, check it out. Okay, one of the first things I've learned when it comes to getting better at skiing in general is balance, and quite often we ignore it when it comes to our conditioning. Guys, right, so let me show you three things you can do, somewhere between 10, 15, 20 reps, depending on your level of conditioning. More is better, but start with small numbers initially. So, this is called Super Skater Pretty Basic. Watch. All my energy is on my left leg. Right leg is up. And I just do this little skate move, just like this. Back and forth. Arms are active or 20 on both legs. Perfect, gorgeous, fantastic. Now, let's see you get pretty good at that and you want to improve. Here's a single leg squat. Let me show it to you. So here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep this leg forward and not go back like the super skater. So I'm working on my balance, reaching up, going down. Reaching up, going down. Dropping my butt down toward my heel. You don't want to lean forward, that's not it, because when you're skiing, you want to look up. So, you drop it down. If you can't reach the floor or your foot, go for your knee. That's step number two. Now, if you really want to get advanced, I would say run out and get yourself a BOSU ball. I'm not here to promote it, I'm just here to say it's a phenomenal tool. Now watch. You can see the lack of stability here. I'm working on my proprioceptive fitness, right? So you're on the hill, the train is changing, it's steep, it's flat, the snow is, who knows? There's so many versions, right? So now, what I'm going to do is the exercise from before, reaching down, reaching up, reaching down, reaching up. When you first get out of this thing, it's going to feel like you're in a 9.4 earthquake. It's going to be hard, so what do you do? You put your arch on that center line and you just hang out. No squatting, nothing. You're just going to do this. And then you go a little bit lower over the course of time, and I'm telling you this translates to awesome skiing. All right, here comes tip number two. It's agility, very important because skiing is a back and forth, up and down motion. I'm gonna show you three. Here's the first one, somewhat basic. It's a zigzag, back and forth. It's so simple, it looks like this. Back and forth, going forward and back. Heart's gonna get going, lungs gonna get going, kind of cardiovascular in nature, just back and forth. Now I'm gonna up the ante just a little bit. I'm going to go back and forth, also working on some balance. So watch this one. Forward, working on strengthening this quad. Back, forward. You can see I'm only on one foot at a time. Back, forward. So you do that side a couple times, maybe 10, 20, 30, whatever you can handle. And then the other leg. And back. If you want to up the ante there, watch this. So, up, reach low, and cross. Crossover, crossover. And up the ante, here's number three. I'm gonna go sideways laterally. This is also gonna strengthen my knee joint. Very important when you're skiing, if you know what I'm saying. So watch me here. Start out small. Cross, touch your shin. Shin, shin. I'm getting better, losing weight, feeling good. Outside my pinky toe, outside that pinky toe. Down and across. All right, boys and girls, here's tip number three. It's plyometrics. <gasps> plyometrics, that's for, that's for athletes. No, it's for you too, but I'm gonna show you how to modify when you first start out. Plyometrics is basically jump training. It's leaving the surface of the earth. Sometimes you go high, sometimes you go low, laterally, forward, back and forth. You wanna work on multiple planes. The equation. This is a plyo box. You can use a sturdy stool, a bench, whatever you have. Now, I'm not saying you can jump on this and off this right away, but here's how you start one leg at a time. Step down and up. Stepping down and up. One leg at a time. Does this look anything like skiing? I think it kind of does. And then as you get better and stronger and faster, 
phenomenal for what you need on the hill. Bio stuff, now I'm ready to get up. So, you prep, you make sure you jump higher than your target. You don't want to come short ever. Up, turn. Use your arms, these are your ski poles. Boom. And even when you're starting, you can go here. Make sure your knees track out of your toes when you land. Got to be really careful, nice and soft. Boom, there you go. You've got balance, you've got agility, you've got plyometrics. That's all you need. Look, I'm only demonstrating and I'm breathing hard. This stuff works. Do it two to three times a week. Make sure you're in top condition, not only with your legs, but your heart and lungs. And when you come up here to Mike Wimpy skiing, you're gonna be blown away on how fun it is, how you can go all day long, and that'll enhance your desire to come year after year after year, like me. This is Tony Horton, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you enjoy your Mike Wiggly Potter skiing. Bye-bye.